Saint Martina of Rome Biography Saint Martina was a Roman martyr under Emperor Alexander Severus, a patron saint of Rome. Martyred in 226, according to some authorities, perhaps in 228, under the pontificate of Pope Urban I, according to others. Her feast day is January 30th. Saint Martina of Rome was a wealthy daughter of a Christian Roman consul. On her parents' death, she gave away her riches to the poor and devoted herself to prayer. Tortured and martyred in the persecutions of Alexander Severus for refusing to sacrifice to pagan gods, a basilica is a dedication to her at the Roman Forum. Saint Martina so openly testified to her Christian faith that she could not escape the persecutions under Alexander Severus. Arrested and commanded to return to idolatry, she refused, whereupon she was subjected to various tortures. These tortures according to her vita include being scourged and scaled. She was condemned to be devoured by wild beasts in the amphitheater but was miraculously untouched by them. She was then thrown on to a burning fire, from which she also escaped unhurt, and was finally beheaded. In the time after her death, there were a series of biographies and descriptions of her martyrdom written, each more extravagant than the last, and none with historical value. Her hagiography asserts that some of her executioners also converted to Christianity and were themselves beheaded. Assorted miracles were ascribed to her and her story was blended with those of other early martyrs, especially Saint Prisca and Saint Tatiana of Rome. One of the writers claimed that when she was beheaded, her body bled milk, a tale that led to her patronage of nursing mothers. Vexed above measure by these prodigies, and above all by her constancy, the judge ordered her to be beheaded. Which being done, a voice from heaven was heard calling Martina to ascend. The whole city trembled, and many of the idolaters were converted to the faith of Christ. Martina suffered under the pontificate of Urban. The first and under that of Urban the. 8. Her body was discovered in an. Ancient church together with those of the holy martyrs Concordius, Epiphanius and Companions, near the Mamertine prison, at the foot of the Capitoline Hill. The church was restored and decorated, and the body of the saint was again placed in it, with much solemnity, in the presence of a great concourse of people, and amidst shouts of joy from the whole city. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you. The relics of Saint Martina were discovered on October 25, 1634 by a painter known as Pietro da Cortorna, in a tomb of Santi Luca e Martina. Situated near the Mamertine prison and dedicated to the saint, the prayers of Martina were powerful with God. Earthquakes shook the city. Fire fell from the heavens in the midst of loud thunder. The temples and idols of the gods were overthrown and destroyed. More than once, milk flowed from her. Wounds together with the blood and a most sweet fragrance was perceived by the bystanders, and sometimes she was 
seen raised up and placed on a beautiful throne, and singing the divine praises surrounded by heavenly spirits.